Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Publisher, you can create a custom font scheme to use within your publication, much in the same way as we just learned about creating a custom color scheme. To create your own custom font scheme, click the Fonts drop-down button in the Schemes group on the Page Design tab within the ribbon. So under Page Design again, we'll look under the Schemes group and we'll click the Fonts drop-down button. We'll see all the various preloaded font schemes that are available. We want to go down to the bottom and click on Create New Font Scheme. And that will open the Create New Font Scheme dialog box, where you can click the drop-down button next to the Heading Font and Body Font drop-downs to select a custom heading and body font for your font scheme. So we can just give that a click. Maybe you have particular fonts that are associated with your company, or perhaps just fonts that you are fond of. We'll use the collegiate font, which is specific to Teach you Comp. And then we'll also select our cool Vetica font that we use quite often as well. After having done that, you can assign a name to your custom font scheme. Again, we'll just call this TUC for now as an example. And then click the Save button. Now the custom font scheme will then appear as a selection that you can apply to your publications when you click the Fonts button in the Schemes group on the Page Design tab within the ribbon. Because we had this publication open, it went ahead and automatically assigned that font scheme. But if we click the drop-down, we'll see the custom font schemes are listed at the top. There's the one we just created. And then below it are all the built-in ones. We can roll over them and see what those look like. And you can just, again, click on any of those to apply it to your publication. To delete a custom font scheme that you have created, click on the drop-down again, and then right-click on the custom font scheme that you want to delete, and then click on Delete Scheme. Give that a left click. And of course, Publisher is going to prompt us, are you sure that you want to delete the custom font scheme? And its name will say yes and it will then be deleted. When we go back to the drop-down, we'll see that it's no longer available in the list of choices for us. And so that's how you create a custom font scheme to use within the Publisher application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.